हेलो एवरीवन एंड वेलकम बैक टू बी फार्मा वाइज वी आर डिस्कसिंग केमिकल रिएक्शंस ऑफ अल्किन्स एंड इन द लास्ट वीडियो वी हैव डिस्कस्ड ओजोनोलाइसिस ऑफ अल्किन्स टुडे वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस अलिलिक सब्सटीट्यूशन ऑफ अल्किन्स नाउ व्हाट इज अलिलिक सब्सटीट्यूशन लेट्स डिस्कस बट फर्स्ट वी शुड डिस्कस व्हाट इज अलिलिक कार्बन एंड व्हाट वी आर गोइंग टू डू विद इट सो अलिलिक सब्सटीट्यूशन लेट्स स्टार्ट first see here i have this carbon chain where there is a double bond in between those two carbons so this is an unsaturated system you know when a carbon is doubly bonded it is in sp2 hybridized state so this carbon is sp2 hybridized now i have this carbon which is a neighbor to this sp2 hybridized carbon or this unsaturated system this neighbor which is sp3 hybridized itself is referred as allylic carbon and the carbon that carbon when it bears hydrogen that hydrogen will be our allylic hydrogen right now what we are going to do in allylic substitution is we will be replacing substituting this allylic hydrogen by a halogen atom so how we are going to do it let's see let's take an example of say propene Okay, CH three CH double bond CH two. This is our propene molecule. You can see this is the double bonded system, unsaturated system. Sp two hybridized carbons are these two, and this carbon is allylic carbon because it is the neighbor of such carbon, and this carbon also bears hydrogen. I will write it like this: CH two H. So this hydrogen becomes my allylic hydrogen. Now what I am going to do is I will be treating it with halogen atom in the presence of high amount of heat around 500 to 600 degree Celsius heat. Now what will happen in that heat? This chlorine atom will substitute this hydrogen, and what we will get is Cl CH2 CH double bond CH2 plus this hydrogen and one of the chlorine they will form this bond. This is nothing but my allyl chloride. So this is allylic substitution. Substitution of allylic hydrogen by a halogen atom in an alkene is referred as allylic substitution. Now how the reaction actually proceeds? What is the mechanism? So this reaction proceeds via free radical mechanism. We are going to learn how this mechanism works. So, as you know, free radical mechanism occurs in three steps: chain initiation, chain propagation, chain termination. So, let's start with the step number one, which is chain initiation. So, initiation means chain is initiated. So, free radicals must be generated. So, who is going to give us free radical chlorine molecule? Now, this chlorine bond will break homolytically, homolytic fission. bond breaks equally one electron will be retained by this atom one will be retained by this atom so it will result in formation of two chlorine free radicals these two chlorine free radicals now go into step number 2 let's go into step number 2 which is chain propagation so propagation in propagation what happens this chlorine free radical which is generated goes and uh, attacks on our substrate molecule Now look at the substrate molecule. This is unsaturated system containing double bond, so it is very difficult to break any of the bonds here between carbons. But this is allylic carbon, and this is carbon and allylic hydrogen bond, which is easier to break. So this chlorine free radical goes and attacks on this bond, this particular bond. I will write it like this: this chlorine free radical will go and attack on this bond. This carbon hydrogen bond, and what it will form? This bond will be broken homolytically to form hydrogen free radical and allyl free radical. This hydrogen free radical will form a bond with chlorine free radical to form HCl plus allyl free radical will be generated. Allyl free radical will be generated. Now this uh, this I will say step A. Now in the next step, this allyl free radical, which is generated in this state, will go and you know attack on our reagent molecule. Who is our reagent? Chlorine. So it will go and attack on chlorine molecule. 
So it will break this bond homolytically. One electron to this chlorine, one electron to this chlorine. One electron, this one electron, they will be utilized to form a bond. So here a bond will be formed with chlorine. So what we will get? This chlorine forms a bond with this CH2. CH, CH2 as it is. Okay, here the bond will be formed. We are not going to attach chlorine anywhere here. No, we have to attach that chlorine here because this is the site where electron is available. And then a chlorine free radical will be generated. Right? So these two steps where chlorine free radical attacks propene and forms allyl free radical and this allyl free radical attacks chlorine and forms allyl chloride and chlorine free radical. These two steps go on repeating themselves. And this is chain propagation. In chain propagation, these two steps go over again and again and till third step. And what is the third step? The third step, you know, is chain termination. Now, termination means stopping. So, when the reaction will stop, when all the free radicals will be consumed. And how the free radicals will be consumed? They will be reacting together to form neutral molecules like... A chlorine free radical reacts with another chlorine free radical to form chlorine molecule another way. This chlorine free radical reacts with our allyl free radicals radical to form allyl chloride. What is another way possible? One allyl free radical CH2 double bond CH CH2 reacts with another allyl free radical to form something like this CH2 double bond CH CH2 CH2 CH double bond CH in any ways when two free radicals combine together to form neutral molecules they will be consumed and so they won't be available to carry out the reaction further. So the reaction will stop. So this is the mechanism by which allylic substitution proceeds. I'll brief you in a moment. Alkenes when treated with halogen in presence of high temperature, the allylic carbon or the allylic hydrogen to be specific is replaced by a halogen atom to form allyl halide. And this is referred as allylic substitution. Allylic carbon is the carbon which is a neighbor of a double bonded carbon. And that carbon when bears the hydrogen, it is referred as allylic hydrogen. And that hydrogen when replaced by halogen in presence of high temperature, it forms allyl halide and it is referred as allylic substitution. The reaction proceeds via free radical mechanism, three steps. Chain initiation, Chlorine will undergo homolytic fission in presence of high temperature to form chlorine free radicals. Chain propagation. Chlorine free radical goes and attacks on substrate to form allyl free radical. Allyl free radical will go and attack on the reagent to form chlorine free radical. These two steps will go on repeating themselves over and over again till the chain termination which is the third step. In chain termination, any two free radicals will combine together to form neutral molecules and the reaction will be coming to stop. Right? So the reaction will be terminated. I hope the reaction is understood. Uh, let me tell you one more thing. I have uh, created a playlist for Pharmaceutical Organic Chemistry 1 which is a subset for semester 2 of first year B Pharm. Um, I will link that playlist at the end of this video so that it will be easier for you to find all the related videos at one place. I hope it helps and if it helps, do let me know in the comments below. And uh, yes, I will see you in the next video. Till then you take care. Bye bye. Keep studying.